excuse for sat nav going off in your ear up. Um, yeah, we're in the van, we're in the bus, and um, there's no one sat next to me. I'm all alone. Yep, I know that's not very often, is it? Um, but I'm off to uh, Wales. We're going into North Wales. Um, I've got a bit of a, a challenge on um, from Owen. Uh, Owen said to me, he said uh, a few weeks ago, he said, do you fancy going up Snowdon? I said, oh yeah, I do actually. Uh, just done the Scarfield Pike a couple of weeks ago and I'll put a link up for that now. Uh, quite enjoyed Scarfield Pike, it was quite enjoyable and Mrs C came up with me and it was really good, it was a good day. So the only one I haven't done, as I've done Ben Nevis last year, the only one I haven't done is Snowdon. So he said, yeah, do you fancy Snowdon? Yeah, I do. He said, we're doing the Watkin Path. Great. Uh, <laughs> not exactly the best pathway to go up, Scott, you know, to go up Snowdon for your first trip. But on that hand, it is probably an exciting trip. So um, yeah, I'm on the A55. We're heading uh, into North Wales now. It's Friday afternoon, well it's Friday evening to be honest, so the traffic's quite busy. Uh, just upset a lorry driver back there, pulling onto, the, pulling onto the dual carriageway. I don't understand, do not understand for people why you block other road users coming onto the road. What is the point of blocking a slip road? You know, I've come down the slip road, I wanted to pull onto the traffic and he was pushing and pushing and pushing, trying to stop me, well, you know, he might have been bigger than me, but I forced my way out. I just cannot understand it. So if you watch this and you're one of those road drivers to try and stop other cars, other vans, other motorcycles getting in front, what is the point? We're all going the same direction and we're all going at the same speed. So please don't bother doing it, it's just stupid. Anyway, rant done. Uh, if he catches me and starts bumping his horn again, then so be it. I might even switch the camera on so you can hear him beeping his horn, it's quite funny. I've got another rant. Just got myself a lovely large milkshake and they give you a paper straw. A paper straw for a thick milkshake. By the time I get to the bottom of that, this is dissolved. Stupid, I know you're trying to save the world. Why don't you put a little bit of plastic on the top or a little bit of plastic on the bottom just so that it doesn't dissolve? Crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna have my chicken. The wife's gonna go mental because she made me sandwiches. And uh, yeah, I've wrapped my sandwiches in silver foil. I've put them in a nice box and I'm gonna take them with me up the mountain tomorrow. So at least I've got some nice lunch to take up the mountain with me. So yeah, sweet chili dip, got me chips, got me McDonald's, wow, they're hot. Woo! And I'll speak to you in a bit after I've had me tea. Now for my main course. <clears throat> Three chicken selects, small, Almost healthy. Oh, I love these. Really good. Mm. <laughs> mm. All done. Next up, Clean Mimbri, or whatever it's called. <laughs> See you there.
Well, I've made it to uh, Mumbai or Mumbri, whatever it's called, Mumbai. -ra. Um, so I've just pulled up. Snowden looks pretty bleak, <laughs> to be honest. And if I'm going up there tomorrow, it is not going to be hot, sunny t-shirt weather by the looks of it. It's going to be pretty much, uh, yeah, under cloud cover at the moment. So we'll see what it's like tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, I'm at uh, I'm at the lake. There's not a lot going on tonight. The, the weather looks a bit grey, to be honest. Um, yeah, <laughs> see you in a bit. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. So yeah, cheers. morning guess what I'm heading off Watkins path uh, spoke to you yesterday didn't I and said I was heading this way well as you can see by a bit of a sweat I've made a start it's uh, not as early as I thought it was gonna be it's about seven o'clock ten to seven I think I started just taking a nice gentle Miranda as it is <laughs> up the hill and uh, I'm gonna take some photographs and wait for Owen to catch up he's gonna meet us about ten o'clock I think or he's gonna set set off about ten o'clock so I've got a good few hours to myself. I'm going to take a few photographs and walk around. I've already taken a few back there, just in the woods as I walk through, all handheld. Got the camera here, and that's it. One lens, one camera, and away we go. Beautiful, quiet, got a little bit of music playing in my ear. What a lovely little morning. I'll catch up with you in a bit and have a bit of a chat. See you in a bit. I'm gonna lie to you, <laughs> it's a bit warm this morning. I've got my towel out <sighs> and I'm melting already. 
So I'm just going to have five minutes here. I'll just be looking up there. I quite like this uh, as an image. The light's not come out. The sun's hidden behind some hazy cloud, which is good. I don't want the sun out, really. We've got this lovely waterfall. As you know, the Watkin Path is famous for its waterfalls. It's a lovely waterfall. Diagonal lines coming down. You've got a little cluster of trees. You've got a little bit of low cloud up the top there. It's all about the diagonals crisscrossing. So I've taken an image there, taken a five stack um, exposure bracket um, just because I'm handheld and I can't set up all the filters. I haven't got them with me. And I've also taken a picture of these trees. I don't know if you can see them on the GoPro, but there's some trees there. And about 100 yards that way, you've got the lovely trees and the ridge line. And I think it's going to make a really nice uh, black and white, very high contrast, white at the top, a black ridge line, and just a black dark bottom. Um, yeah, I kind of see that as being something you can write words in. So maybe use it as a thumbnail or something like that. It's pretty cool. It's got a lovely silhouette image. And the clouds up there, if they stay like this, it's going to be an awesome day. Keep the sun underneath the, underneath the cloud. I could do with a little bit of wind. There is not a drop of air at the moment. So we could do with a bit of that. But the clouds are wisping up in the top. Really, really nice. It's a lovely morning. Taking me a piece out. I just want to listen to the waterfalls now. But yeah, gorgeous. Slow, slow walk up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, the bright sparks amongst you will realize that I'm going back the other direction, that you're looking behind me where I've already been. Yep, 0.8 of a mile in, 2,500 steps in. I realize I've left my radio in the van. Now I've got no phone signal, and I've got no way of contacting Owen when he gets here. We know which direction I'm going in, and he knows where the paths leading round, so we should catch up. But without my bloody radio, <laughs> we've got no chance. So uh, yeah, I'm going back down to the van, get me bleeding radio. What an idiot. I've got me food, I've got me water, I've got you, I've got me camera, I've got me sticks. Just forgot me radio. So that's put another one and a half miles on the journey, isn't it? Good job I'm early. Otherwise, I'll be running for time. Morning. <laughs> Morning. So yeah, I'll catch up with you when I get me stick, uh, when I get me radio. Oh, idiot. Absolute idiot. Well, hello. For me, it's been a little while. For you, it's probably been a few seconds. Uh, yeah, I've made my way up to the the pool at the top here, whatever they call this thing. It's like a infinity pool. A couple of big boulders around and some nice uh, old stone. Oh, just checking my legs. Just walk through the grass. Got to keep an eye on your legs. Got sheep ticks and things around these days, so I've taken my uh, trousers off, as you can see. When I went back to the van, I stripped off a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to hang around a little bit now. It's about half eight and Owen's not getting here till ten. So uh, I'm going to have to hang around for a little while and um, yeah, just chill out a little bit. Look at the waterfalls, 
I might just go back down a few hundred yards or hundred yards or so and go and sit on top of the waterfalls and just chill out, maybe have a bit of a drink, a bit of a snack and uh, yeah, wait for I get radio contact. I've got nothing at the moment. Let's have a look. Hello, Ro hello uh, Owen, are you on yet? No, nothing as yet. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna chill out, have five minutes and catch up with you in a little bit. Right, well, I'm up to where we uh, came a few weeks ago, or probably even last year now, up to where we get this classic photograph of the the old building and the um, tree. Uh, I went up a little bit further last time, just up over the ridge there, to uh, a big waterfall. But I'm going to have to slow down, like I said before. I'm going to have to slow down because uh, I'm pushing on a bit too much, and uh, I've got to wait for Owen and that to catch up. But there's the South Ridge. As far as I know, I think, I'm pretty sure that's the South Ridge. Um, we're hoping to come down there, come back across, traverse across that one there, and come back down this way. Um, that's the plan. I just have to see how my legs fare and uh, see how we do when we get to the top. If we get to the top, this is supposed to be quite a hard walk at the top. There's an awful lot of people getting up now and coming out and playing, so uh, yeah, I'll have to hang around, take it easy, find myself another little spot to sit down and uh, just wait for Owen to catch up, to be honest. But yeah, so far so good. All good. Right, I'm definitely having five minutes now. I can have myself a little bit of food because I didn't have any food last time I spoke to you. A uh, bit of water, maybe a bit of a hydration drink and just wait for them to catch up. It's uh, 20 to 10, so apparently if he's not here till 10, <laughs> I've got a long wait. So I'm just gonna make the most of it. Enjoy these mountains and just say hello to people as they walk past. Oh dear, but I am sweating. There is no air at all. Oh well. <laughs> 